Lorraine, congratulations. Through after two years away, three years away from Lakeside, how does it feel to be back here and winning on that stage? Oh, do you know what? I'm so pleased to get over the line. I knew we'd got a really tough game in Vicky because um, whenever we play, we always have really um, close games. Nobody seems to dominate it, but one of us crosses the line, if you know what I mean. So um, I'm happy to get over the line tonight. And that's exactly how it was in that first set, 3-2, obviously. And it could have been a very, very different story if Vicky did get the job, job done in that fifth leg. Yeah, absolutely. And and to be fair, after coming off after that first set, when she went 1-0 up in the second set, I thought, oh, and she was on a finish before I was, I think, in in that second set. And I thought, oh, don't go 2-0 down. I don't want it to go one each because then it could be a, a bit dodgy, you know. Um, so I just thought, come on, dig in, dig in, you know, just do what you need to do. How pleased were you with the performance up there? It's been a while since you've played any any darts on a big stage on TV. So just adapt, readapting to that and being able to play in front of the cameras and the lights. To be fair, I've really sort of struggled since coming back after COVID because I'm not a massive practicer. So normally the calendar would keep me busy enough to to be playing tournament to tournament so I would go home and enjoy the break not necessarily practice in between so with with having nothing going on I found it quite difficult to get to get into that sort of practice kind of mode and gear myself up for for tournaments and the first couple of tournaments I was a bit like oh this is not good you know I'm not I'm not ready for this because it, it seemed like a lot of people in a small space. Um, so I, I sort of struggled with that a little bit, but um, obviously I knew what I needed to do to prepare to come here. Um, so, like I say, I'm just pleased to have crossed the line. I'm much more like it in the second set. The one two one check out a highlight. You really started to put things together. Was that just being more comfortable in that second set? I think so. Um, I was a little bit dubious as to whether they, actually the double eight team was in because uh, I was like, D do, we, do we give it large? Do I not give it large? And then I heard Nick say game shot and I was like, oh, it is in because I was sort of almost ready to give it. But um, but yeah, no, it, it was a case of just get the, try and get the job done basically. And obviously up to 24 women in this year's tournament, we're already down to down to eight. Quarter-final lineups are set and there's there's two part two um, top half and the bottom half of the draw with Suzuki and, and Greaves, the obvious favourites in that top. The bottom is so open as well. It's really anyone's tournament, isn't it? It really is an open tournament. And I've said all along, you know, that any one of these women on their day could be a world champion. And, and it is a case of everybody's capable. It's just whether it's their day, their week or whatever. Um, so so we've just got to keep plugging and keep keep trying. <laughs> and we know you do a lot of work with the Elite One system with Target. Luke Littler, who's been here, and Jared Cole, who's on the stage now. It's great to see these guys coming through and, and playing on a world championship stage. Absolutely. And... And, you know, it actually won't do Luke much harm in losing tonight. The pressure on him has been immense. And he has done such a good job. You know, he's only going to build on this, and this is going to make him a stronger, better player. And I can't believe you've dragged me off to stop me watching one of, <laughs> one of the lads. No, I'm joking. Um, you know... It's, it's all a learning curve at the end of the day. We've all got to learn to win. We've all got to learn to lose. And it certainly won't do Luke any harm, but he can walk away from this tournament with his head held mightily high, knowing that he has done an amazing job. Yeah, and just touching on Luke there, he, he lost to, obviously, a lakeside record average to Richard. He didn't play bad at all himself. And if he comes back next year with another, another year of experience under his belt, he'll be a better player for it. Absolutely. And I think probably deep down, Richard knew what he had to do in order to beat Luke because he knows he is hot property at the moment. You know, Luke is such a phenomenal player that I'm pretty sure that Richard's experience won that more than more. I'm not saying more than his talent, but, you know, he knew he had to dig in. He knew that he had to cross the line with Luke because give him an inch, he'll take a mile. 
100%. Well, thank you very much for your time, Lorraine, and congratulations on the win. Thank you.